Are you thinking of moving to Los Gatos? Want to hear the inside scoop from a Bay Area native? Hi, Spencer Sue here. Today I'm gonna to guide you around Los Gatos and give you a rundown of life there with the help of a little Google Maps. For more information about Los Gatos and to see some beautiful shots of the city, check out the vlog walking tour I posted right over here. We cover all the places you can't miss in that video. And after watching it, you'll know Los Gatos much better than before. Now don't forget, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the Bay Area, call or text me at 408-547-4590. So many of you aren't subscribed, do it right now. So Los Gatos, California, one of my favorite cities in the Bay Area, and you're gonna see why. First and foremost, where is Los Gatos? You can see as we scroll in here that it's a small city tucked right between San Jose and the Santa Cruz mountain foothills. I can't begin to describe how amazing this location is. On one hand, you've got outstanding outdoor opportunities with the mountains and the open space preserves nearby. While on the other hand, you are next to San Jose, the 10th largest city by population in the entire US with lots of amenities, recreational activities, culture, and diverse food options. Now, it can get quiet out here, which is great considering how many people live in the Bay Area. Look at these beautiful hills. You're bordered by the Cambrian Park neighborhood of San Jose, West San Jose, you got Campbell nearby, Montessorino's in the same high school district, as is Saratoga. The convenient access to many places is wonderful here. From Los Gatos, you're 30 minutes from Santa Cruz. Downtown San Jose is only 15 minutes away. Sunnyvale, which has a lot of companies, is only 20 minutes. Mountain View is roughly around 20 minutes too. If you got kids or you have any sort of work at Stanford, it's only 30 minutes away. If you got other kids that are going to university, Santa Clara University, which is where I got my MBA, is only 15 minutes away. So you can see there's so many different options here. Now let's talk about population density. While the yards in many cities may be smaller, Los Gatos tends to have larger homes and bigger lots than the neighboring places like in San Jose. If you're a business traveler or someone that enjoys traveling the world like myself, you know you're not that far from major hubs. 10 miles, as you can see here, is from San Jose International Airport. 40 something miles is from San Francisco Airport, and about 42 miles you're from the Oakland International Airport. So depending on which flights may be going direct or which was cheaper, you have so many different points to go from. Now let's look at downtown Los Gatos. Starting at the south end of the downtown, you immediately see green, 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 and green. You see some water, there's outdoor spaces everywhere. And right where Santa Cruz Highway becomes North Santa Cruz Avenue, you've got lots of great small boutique stores. For a mile on either side, you've got a quaint old town, which as I mentioned, you can see more of if you watch my walking tour of the city, where I walk down these streets so you can see what the homes actually look like. What's also really cool about this downtown is look at all the restaurants we've got here, past the Toll House Hotel. You got pizza at Willow Street Pizza, coffee at Los Gatos Brewing Company, Chinese at Taba Taba Chinese Bistro, hummus at Orange Hummus, which is a great chain, seafood at Steamer's Grill House, and bakery at Manresa Bread. You've also got the big staples like Apple, Lululemon, you got a great Japanese place, Kamakura, the renowned Forbes Mill Steakhouse, and the Michelin star Manresa further up the street. Now, residentially, Los Gatos is beautiful. You've got the historic Almond Grove neighborhood, which is right next to downtown, and it is just walking distance. But going east, you're gonna find a lot more other residential areas like Blossom Crest, DeVos, Ley, Alta Vista, and so on and so forth. The area is great too because of the good schools. Ley School, Stratford School, which is a private one, Alta Vista Elementary, Mulberry School, Hillbrook, Blossom Hill Elementary. You got tons of these great options. Now closer to downtown, you've also got Raymond Fisher Elementary. Now, if you go back to Highway 17 on the other side of downtown, you're gonna see some of the top rated high schools in the entire state. In fact, the school district was named number one in California in 2021, Los Gatos High School, which is serves as not only Los Gatos residents, but also many of Amanda Sereno in Saratoga. Now, if you jump over Highway 17 to the northwestern parts of the city, you're gonna be in Rinconada Hills. This is a great gated community where you've got a country club, it's not required to be part of it. It's not actually part of it. You got a clubhouse, tons of tennis courts, a small pond, lots of walking areas. And it's actually one of the very few gated communities in the South Bay. It's a quieter and safer neighborhood that's really good for raising kids, having an outstanding life. And Rolling Hills Middle School is right up here by the highway, still within the, the Los Gatos city limits. I've had a previous listing out here, so it's, I know for a fact it's a great community and many of you actually see fantastic views of the bay. Now, speaking of outdoor activities, 
in and near Los Gatos, you got lots of options. Besides the parks within the city, like Vasona Lake County Park, you have the Rinconada Hills Country Club. This is a private membership, so there's a is a wait list to be part of it. I've been there several times. It's a great place and a great community that they have there. You also have the Los Gatos Tennis Club, which is one of my favorite places to play as it has some of the most tennis courts available. I play there frequently. I'm about a four or five myself. Now jobs, going back into town and up near Rinconada Hills, you're gonna find the epicenter of jobs in Los Gatos, even though it's not that big, you got Netflix. Netflix employs over 2,000 people in Los Gatos. And to be fair, you're not far from these other cities that are just next nearby, whether it's San Jose, Mountain View, Sunnyvale, et cetera, et cetera. So you still got plenty of options if you don't work for the big mecca, Netflix. What do you think of this virtual tour? It's the first time I've done this. So I'm curious if you find value in me doing the screen share and sharing all these different things related to the maps. Are there any other cities you want me to do a deep dive on? What do you think? Leave in the comments below and is there anything else that I should have covered of this virtual tour of the city? Now, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in Los Gatos or anywhere in the Bay Area, as I mentioned, my team would love to be your trusted real estate resource. Call or text us at 408-547-4590 and let's set up a time together. Talk soon.